Hello everyone, my name is Solar and this is Sal DEM channel. This tutorial is about the simulation of investment casting process in Procast software. So for the introduction part, I'm using one of my research articles about the investment casting of a CU lattice structure, which you can find the link to this article on the caption. Investment casting is one of the most routine production methods for complex geometries when you want to cast these parts and usually when you want to cast metallic materials. So uh, what is an investment casting? We usually, uh, as you can see in this summarized version of the process, we usually have a model which you could 3D print it with re um, castable resins or castable waxes, then you need to prepare your plaster mold, do vacuum, uh, vacuuming on the plaster mold, you have baking process, you have melting process, and then you pour the uh, cavities of your mold with molten metal. Also, you have, uh, you could have um, vacuum pressures, or you could do it, do it without vacuum pressure, and then you have some quenching processes. So, as it is obvious, we are not going to talk about the mold preparation or modeling process. So, let's move to the simulation part. But for more information, you can use this article. I briefly uh, explained uh, different processes of this uh, production method. So, I think it would be useful for you. Okay, let's move to the simulation part. As you may know, investment casting process is one of the, uh, the methods that used to use for mass production. And one of the most common examples of this production method is uh, producing jewelries through investment casting, which we attach uh, a large number of models to a tree, which is actually your runner. And then the most iconic uh, sign of a good investment casting simulation and process is that you uh, could see the fraction solid increasement process from the wall of your mold. So this is a fact that we need to achieve this visualization elements of investment casting which means you could validate your investment casting uh, simulation by seeing the cooling process uh, from the mold walls towards the center of the runner which is a fact about investment casting okay let's move to the simulation and uh, we could start by going to Visual Mesh application of Procast. Okay, as you can see, we are in our Visual Mesh part. Similar to my previous videos, we are going to append our uh, CAD model. So, okay. Here is my investment casting model. As you can see, this is a part of a bigger model, so it could reduce the simulation time. I'm going to cast these two parts through investment casting. This is my runner or the base of my investment casting tree. You could hear different uh, abbreviations even for this uh, elements, but they usually call it tree. Okay, so as previous, as always, we need to firstly check our geometry. There's no problem. Okay, let's do a surface mesh. I usually prefer to, I usually ask my students to do smaller mesh because of the accuracy and better result of your simulation. But if you do not access to good hardware, uh, you could um, do larger meshes to reduce the simulation process but we are going to use element size of one and okay let's apply the mesh let's see okay here is a good mesh 
Okay, next thing would be checking our surface mesh, surface mesh as always. Surface mesh is okay. So the difference between investment casting and something like gravity casting simulation is that you need to create a shell around your model as the mold. So we avoid to do volume mesh after applying the surface mesh to our model and runner. So firstly, create the surface mesh of our, our model, then we need to create the shell part or the mold part, and then we apply the volume mesh to both of the models. Okay, let's move to the 2D mesh menu. Here is the shelling tools. It asks a question about uh, converting to FE-based volumes for shelling. We approve it. And the point, here is the important point, that we are going to create shells. So we must avoid uh, to doing and creating a mold shell on the top of our runners. So uh, first of all, we need to choose uniform thickness for our shell type. Then as you can see, here is a no shell face option. I click here then I'm going to create on this icon, which is select contiguous. And then I'm going to choose the upper side of my, the upper side of my runner. So I don't want to have uh, shell molds on this uh, side. So it will be eliminated from the uh, shell creating process. And based on your um, experimental test, which you want to simulate the experimental test, you need to choose the proper thickness for your model. So I'm going to choose three. And let's see, it's a bit thick. So I'm going to go with two. Okay, I'm okay with two. And then you can apply it. And as you can see, now we have a model with surface mesh, and now we created a shell around this model with surface mesh. So the next part would be applying volume mesh on our model. Okay. Okay. As you see, now we have created just to check our list. We created a surface mesh around uh, our model. We created a shell as a mold with surface mesh. And also we applied volume mesh to both of these parts. So let's move to the next part of our simulation. OK, and we are now in our visual cast. So as always, the first question is, gravity vector so I'm going to choose minus y for my gravity vector so everything is shaped and okay so let's move to the casting process uh, conditions volume managers interfaces and blah 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 okay first of all we need to shape our volume so the first volume is my part, or you could use alloy. It depends on yourself. I have some friends that put names on these samples, like Joy, everything. It, it's uh, on your side. You could do it by your preference. Okay, this is mold or shell. Okay, the type of this is alloy, this type is mold. Let's choose the material. Let's go with copper. Okay. And let's do uh, refractory alumina for our uh, plaster mold. So here is another note which you need to pay attention to it. The initial temperature of our metal is 25. Okay, and the initial temperature of our mold 
uh, must include a pre-hit because if you are familiar with the investment casting process, you always have pre-hits for your uh, plaster molds to avoid cracks or destroyment of your mold. So I'm going to choose 800. Okay, everything is set here. Let's move to interface. Your interface must be quink and you could choose the proper uh, age uh, based on your um, simulation and your um, problem. Okay. Okay. Process condition manager or our boundary condition. We have, we need to add a thermal heat, add a fluid. Oops, I have some problems with binomials and we need also a wall okay first of all let's assign the external mold for the heat we are going to have air cooling um, and for our inlet i'm going to create an inlet i think 15 would be great let's click here 15 is a bit large 12 okay 12 is good so apply and i think this would be good but you need to assign this boundary condition based on reality and your problem okay this is just a simulation and this is just a tutorial we know that nobody cast copper with this temperature but it's just an example you just assign real boundary conditions based on your problem and your experiments okay let's hidden the mold because we want to assign our walls so okay we choose this we change this to element phase we choose all then we need to hold the shift key and remove this part okay then everything is set we need to apply it and everything is good and shake okay apply it let's move to the next part which is the simulation parameters you need to assign investment or shell casting just click ok save it and check your data when you use uh, wall boundary condition you usually see this warning and this cadmesh association is broken is not important in this case but you usually even have when you see this warning you could uh, solve your uh, problem i i'm not going to solve it because i know there is a problem here is in our inlet uh, in our model so i'm going to um, continue with this problem which is not a problem actually just, it is a warning so let's move to the uh, start simulation just create the data just click on data cast and run and then we will come back for the results okay the simulation is finished as you could see this is the temperature contour of our model so let's hidden the mold and see what has happened in our casting process okay as you see everything's good okay let's see the fractions of it as you can see the solidification process in investment casting starts from the wall of the mold so here is the validation of our casting simulation 
I hope this was useful for you. Do not hesitate on asking your questions. I highly appreciate your suggestions for future simulation uh, tutorials. You could uh, contact me through comments or my LinkedIn, which I have added the link to the uh, channel description part. Okay. See you soon. Have a nice day and enjoy your simulations. Goodbye.